All right. So, boys and girls, this is John's crank that he's going to use in his turbo stock engine. It's a 1500 crank from a 67 Volkswagen. Currently, it only has four dowel pins. Obviously, everything needs to be clean. But what we're going to do is we're going to eight dowel it. Now, you can buy these tools about 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you buy it from. From Volkswagen Parts House, it's a little jig with holes in it, and I will take that out of the bag, hopefully. There we go. Anyway, that in, you can see that, we'll screw it into the crank, and there's a bolt to hold it down, and it has a direction the way it goes. Whoa, there goes a little bit. But basically this end goes flat against the crank where my thumb is, and this end would go up inside the flywheel. Whichever way you do it, you could use it any way you want. It's just going to make a pattern opposite what every other standard flywheel is. So your flywheel and crank would be one pattern if you did it backwards. But um, anyways, these kits do not come with the drill bit. You have to have your own drill bit. And they do not come with the 8mm ring. So you're going to have to go online, buy a ring, and you're going to have to use the correct drill bits. What I have here is... I can't remember. I think they use an O. Let's see it. And then you ream it out from there. Yeah, this one's an O. It's been a long time since I did that. They used to sell them with the drill bits a long, long time ago. But anyways... So, we're going to use the torque dude to pull that flywheel off, and then we're going to drill it out for um, the eight dowels, and we're going to have to drill the stock dowels longer, because the dowel pins you get, I will show you when we get to that part, are quite a bit longer when you eight dowel by the eight dowel kit. And the reason being is to put the dowel pin farther into that main rear journal there to give it some more meat to grab to. So anyways, we're going to get started on that. I'm going to pull off the flywheel and then we can start setting things up. Okay, so we have the stock dowel pin. I just pulled one out and the aftermarket dowel pin. As you can see, it's almost double the length for the aftermarket dowel pin. The um, difference this is about 540 thousandths somewhere in that range and this one was like 960 almost an inch so there's a good 400 thousandths inch longer that we're going to have to drill the hole in the crankshaft so I'm gonna to have to be careful to do that and that way when I do that I need to be able to set my new dowel pins to the same height that's sticking out of the crank because if you don't do that what will happen is the gland nut and washer will hit the dowel pins leaving the flywheel still loose so you have to make the if you're going to do it if you're going to keep the stock four dowel pins in there you still have to make the other four that are the longer ones longer um, or you could get four stock dowel pins I guess but the deal is this goes in the crankshaft that much more to make it more stable so I'm going to pull the all but two dowel pins out of the crank because that's how the jig sits on there. It still needs two dowel pins to do that. Um, the stock dowel pins out of a stock crankshaft usually pull right out. Aftermarket cranks are usually a press fit. So, um, you know, if you're trying to do something to a... But they would already be eight dowel anyway on those. So I'm going to pull two more dowel pins out and then we'll start setting up our drill press and all that. Okay, so we screwed the little um, threaded insert that has the slot in it and the bolt hole that has threads into the end of the crank. You're going to want to make sure that it's not protruding out so everything can sit flat. And then the next step will be to take the bolt and this assembly and put on here with the flat side facing the crankshaft. And then when you go to do the flywheel, the side with the lip will go in to the flywheel 
on the opposite side and we'll show you that when we do that. So I'm going to clean the surface here, make sure everything gets flat and then we're going to figure out how we're going to mount it in the drill press. Okay, we have it installed on here. One more thing, the pattern is offset. So when you put this up there on the two studs on the crankshaft here, make sure that these ones that are the holes that you're going to be drilling do not line up with a dowel pin hole because if you flip it one off, if I move this to here, it will line up with one dowel pin and be offset. So you don't want to drill that pattern. You want to make sure it has fresh meat that it's drilling into. So we got it snugged on there. Everything's clean. Now the big deal is figuring out how we're mount this in the drill to be able to drill it on here. And you can see this is the orientation I have it going. Like I say, if you do this backwards, as long as you keep that flywheel and crank together, it's not going to be in the world. You're just not going to be able to match another flywheel to it, unfortunately. Um, the dowel pin that is offset, you could possibly just remove and have seven dowel pins. Um, and that would also work too if you ever had to replace the flywheel, if you do drill it off the other way. So anyways, that's what we're going to get to next. Okay, boys and girls, so I almost forgot to mention you're going to have to do some math. The thing you need to do is remember how much your stick out of your dowel pin needs to be to get set in the flywheel. I measured these and they're 195 thousandths on average. So we need to know that and then we need to know how thick the tool is. And I measured that and it was 802 thousandths. And since we know that our dowel pin is 952 thousandths long, we can do some math. Um, I did some over here. So we need to know the pin is 952 thousandths long plus the length of the height of the tool, which is 802, and you add those together. And then we need 195 stick out, which you could subtract from the pin, I guess. So we minus one. 95 and we get one inch 559 thousandths so what I need to do with that is transfer that measurement on my tool on my drill bit so I know how far I can actually go down and drill because if not you're just drilling blind and this is not something you want to keep going back and doing back and doing back and doing so anyways I want to mark my drill bit and recheck my math real quick and then we'll start drilling okay boys and girls I did all my math, checked it twice, put a piece of tape on my drill bit, and now we should be able to be ready to start drilling some holes. So, let's get ready for that. Okay, now we're on to the flywheel. I used two of my long dowel pins. And this one and that one to locate it and we got to make sure that there is nowhere there that has a hole in it already so it's not lining up with the offset dowel pin it has a little shouldered um, washer it goes on this side to contain it so now we're going to drill the holes out on this side and then I'm going to put the flywheel on the crankshaft and run the ream through it together as one unit so it reams them together using two dowel pins to hold it kind of and I'm going to leave the four stock ones the stock length I don't want to drill too much because this is pretty hard to drill my drill bit is not the best so it has four longer than stock dowel pins and four stock dowel pins so that should be adequate for our purpose so let's get to work on this part So I have an 8 millimeter ream, and I'm going to just do this with a hand drill. You should probably use a drill press or something like that, but I don't feel like setting this whole big ridiculous thing up in the drill press. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to ream the holes that I've already drilled. So 
put a little lube on here. There's my liquid magic. There we go. Alright, here we go. sloppier than I'd like, but they're there. So, that's it. This can go back to John. He can get going on his project, and hopefully this will be one thing that keeps it from having a problem. So anyways, guys, that's how we do it. Um, you know, make sure you have the right size drill bits. Mine are a little sloppy, but they are what they are, and uh, it's not a hard process. You know, you might want to pay somebody to do it. So if you ever wondered what it means, that's what it means. If you're buying new crankshafts, they already come 8 doweled and you can buy a brand new flywheel 8 doweled. The main thing about flywheels, make sure you're getting a forged flywheel, not cast. Even if you're building a stalker, because if you ever do anything to upgrade, that cast flywheel is going to bite you. So anyways guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep stay tuned for this. Um, I'll put a link in the video for um, John's project here and um, I'll put it in a playlist too for you. See you guys later.